Okay, so here on the left, I have my metahuman, and on the right, I have a Mixamo animation, and this is based only on the mesh of the metahuman. And what I'm doing in here is transferring the animation from the Mixamo to the metahuman by using the built in humanoid rigged as the middleman as the connection between these two models and just to give you a bit of context if this is your first time watching my videos i recently was part of a digital fashion show and i am simply sharing the workflow that i took in order to create these videos i did not model or design any of the clothes i was just simply like a digital model in this case and i'll leave the profiles of all of the designers that i worked with in the description if you want to check them out and like i said this is the third video that i create about this specific workflow the first one i made was called how to create custom clothing for meta humans and here i show you a bit of my process like the beginning steps how i use cinema 4d to merge the face mesh and the body mesh and then have that animation working so we can then export this into marvelous designer fit the clothes into the avatar and then export them to unreal engine i cover a lot of stuff in that video so make sure to check it out and then i also have this meta human custom shoes and mask tutorial just in case you want to attach something like a mask to the face and also have your own custom shoe wear again in this video we're only going to focus on how to transfer the maximum animation to the meta human okay let's get started our first step is to export our meta human into Mixamo. so click on your meta human go to the body and then let's find that body mesh simply right click asset actions and then export this is going to give us an fbx of just the body so make sure to save that for my export settings i'm going to leave it for fbx 2013 i don't need any of the mesh vertex color certainly do not export the level of detail that is going to export all of the level of detail meshes and we only need the one with the highest quality we also don't need the static mesh we don't need the morph targets and i just click um, activate the last three and then click on export same thing with the face select the face find it in the content browser right click asset actions and then export everything is the same same settings export that i'm using cinema 4d but you can definitely use blender for this step let's bring in those models i got my body i don't need any of the animation or deformation not even the subsurface none of this stuff just the geometry bring in my face i don't need any of the bone information just the mesh like i said so i'm just going to select both of them right click and then connect objects plus delete i'm going to change the rotation of this simply by changing uh, the rotation of the pivot so that's the only thing that i'm going to rotate like that i'm pressing the letter l but here is the tool if you need it i'm going to press alt and then zero just to uh, reset the position scale and rotation and then i have to export this as an obj i'm going to leave everything as default and then export this as full body and then we go into Mixamo and follow the usual process. Upload character. Make sure that it is facing you. I don't know how it will be when you export from Blender, but then you can just rotate it on any, any of the axes. Make sure that it is facing you. Click on next. Follow the instructions per usual. Click on next again. And this is going to create a Mixamo skeleton for our metahuman body mesh. And there you have it. Everything looks good. Our metahuman body mesh is now rigged with Mixamo. Click on next. Select your animation. For this one, I'll just make it in walking place. Play with the settings, get everything that you wanted, and then just click on download. You can use the default settings, click on download again. We're good to go. Now let's go into Unreal Engine. I recommend you keep things organized. So create a folder called Mixamo Animations and simply just drag in the Mixamo animation. Because I already have a Mixamo skeleton, it is automatically detecting it. You shouldn't be able to see this if it's your first time. And even then, don't use the already made Mixamo skeleton. It hasn't worked for me whenever I already used the, the made skeleton but you can try it yourself and just let me know down in the comments if it works so all i'm gonna do is just reset to default so we have no skeleton and make sure that you activate the import animations checkbox make sure also the convert scene is on it should be on by default and then just import all the message log is going to prompt you with a warning this is not an error this is a warning you can just clear it or close it and you should have the walking skeletal mesh the animation itself this is just the physics assets for collisions i would assume and the skeleton i can drag the animation next to this meta human you can double click to open it and see if everything is fine or you can also go to play but only the simulation and that will play all of the animations that you have 
So now that this is ready, we can prepare our Maximal Skeleton so it's easily transferable to the Metahuman Skeleton. So make sure that you have the right animation and then open up that skeleton. It should look something like this. The first thing we have to do is go to the Skeleton Tree, go into the Settings, and then click on Show Retargeting Options. We want the hips and the spine to be set to animation and the rest is set to skeleton. I can go into my spine, right click, and then select recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. This will automatically set all of the children of the spine one for skeleton. I can close that. Do the same thing for the left up leg and the right up leg. Now let's go into the retarget manager. If you cannot see it, you can click on retarget manager right here. And for the setup rig, we're gonna select the select humanoid rig. This is the middleman that I was talking about. So we're basically going to map the bones of this humanoid rig to the bones of the maximal rig you can click on auto map and it's going to do its best to map those bones but there are going to be some errors especially when we go to show advance this is going to show all of the bones from the hands and as you can see some of them are missing and some of them are definitely wrong so allow me to save you some time and download the file in the description below it should be a unreal engine asset and then you can just drag it into your content browser it's going to look like this and i recommend that you save this file somewhere else because it's only going to be available in this unreal engine project make sure to clear whatever is doing in here it's not going to be what we need and then you can just load it this should fix everything everything already for the hands if i go to show base this should have everything already set up for you and right now it doesn't show for me but if it shows that you should apply the mesh make sure to apply it and then click on save you can close it select your meta human go into the body let's open up that body mesh let's go into the skeleton and here i already have it set it up but simply just go to select rig and select humanoid rig and the only thing we have to change in here is for spine 2 change it to spine 3 and for spine 3 change it to spine 5 go into the skeleton tree go into the settings show retargeting options and do the same thing as the maximal only the first two things in this case is the brute and the pelvis should be set to animation everything else should be set to skeleton once again make sure to apply the mesh and then click on save just a quick tip for anyone that is new to unreal engine if you see that your files have these like asterisk icon on the bottom left it means that they haven't been saved so you can either go to file save current level or save current level as but if you're dealing with a lot of files i just like to do the save all function so you can do Control shift plus s just in case you haven't saved stuff from other folders okay so now all i have to do is my new animation select it right click go to retarget animation assets and then duplicate animation assets and retarget in here make sure to select your meta human base we can leave the settings as default just change the location where this is going to save i have a folder again make sure to have things organized meta human retargeted animations click on ok and then just click on retarget once it is done it's going to open up the folder where you save it and you can simply just drag it in the same as the maximo animation and again if you play the simulation you're going to see that it is animated by this maximo animation and in my case because i want to render an animation of my meta human i'm gonna be using the movie render queue so all i have to do is go to cinematics and then create a new level sequence name this tutorial one for my example i don't need these other models anymore and then i have to make sure to drag in my meta human into the sequence i can delete the meta human control rig go into the body and this add a animation track and here we can go all the way to the bottom and find the new animation that you made or whichever animation that you want to use select it and then it's going to add it and if you play the animation in the sequencer it is going to play and because this one is walking in place i can and just simply stretch that animation and it is going to be looping and there you have it your meta human now has a maximal animation the cool thing is that you can still animate the face here with the face control rig so you can give it an expression if you want and if you watch my previous tutorials and if you want to dress this up in something like marvelous designer or cloud 3d you will see in those tutorials that you have to export the body animation big animation sequence and then keep going with the workflow okay so if you made it this far i have a bonus tutorial for you and this is specifically for those people that want to dress up their meta humans in an external application so whenever you're working with claude it is best to have this like on this a pose because if you export the animation from this pose it's going to be really hard to just design the clothing around something like like this so you want to start with this a pose a t pose is recommended but unfortunately it doesn't work
work in this workflow so this is the best that we got and i mean it's definitely something that you can work with so what i want to show you is how to quickly create in a post to like the position starting of that animation so whenever you do the clot simulation you can decide on this a post and then the clot is going to transition to the animation and then the animation place and for this we simply need to create two things we need to create an animation of just the a post and then create an animation of just like the starting post we're going to merge those two together and it's going to allow for this transition set for the animation and then you can start your animation okay so the first step is to create a new sequence once again dragging your meta human blueprint into the sequence let's change the length of this timeline to something like 60 frames i'm going to press the letter o and then the close bracket key so now the timeline is only 60 frames long go to the body right click and then bake animation sequence you can save this in its respective folder i'm gonna call it mh for meta human a pose tutorial click on ok and for for the export settings make sure that record in world space is not checked export to animation we can now delete the meta human control rig go to the body and then let's add our maximum animation in this case is this strut walking animation make sure that you drag it all the way to zero so it starts in the zero frame and in this case i only want one frame of this just to have the start of the animation. Sometimes whenever you add the animation, it's automatically going to be in the first frame. But if not, you can just drag it back into the negatives, something like that, and it should fix itself up. So on frame zero, just click anywhere on the timeline, press the letter O, close bracket again, go to body, bake animation sequence, and then you can save this. This one is called strut walking, so I'm gonna say something like strut walking and then just add zero zero frame same settings export to animation now let's make our timeline bigger again something like 90 frames or so close bracket to make it that length let's move our stroke walking all the way to the back go to frame zero and then let's add our a pose it should be in my case meta human a post tutorial i do have to make my timeline bigger something like 120 because it created the animation on a different track so we want them to be in the same track simply just drag it i actually need more space for the animation i'm just going to go to 240 pull this short walk to the back and then move your timeline cursor something like in front of the animation of the a post go to animation and then find your zero frame of whichever animation you have so this is the one I just created. Let me add it. Again, we only want it to be in that first frame. And then from here, I can just expand it. And it is going to repeat it. But this is exactly what I want. So my A pose is on 60 frames. I can just extend this a bit more. And to blend these two animations, all I have to do is just drag it to the other one. I would just do it to frame one, maybe. I can zoom in drag it all the way there and you can see that we have this crossfade go to wherever the animation ends it was frame 60 go one frame after and then that's the length of the starting post animation so now if we go to frame zero and then we play it slowly goes to the initial post we can drag in our strut walk back make sure it is not overlapping let's extend the strut walk and now you will have an a post to the starting position and then it starts the animation and again this is just to make things easier for you whenever you are going to design in those external programs you can export this the same way you can go to body right click and then bake animation sequence and then you can follow the next steps in the case of my workflow i have to merge the body to the head inside of cinema 4d but there might be a way to do it in blender let us know in the comments if you know how to do it in blender you can definitely link a tutorial that you created or you can refer us to some documentation this this is just my way of doing things and there's definitely a lot of ways to approach especially 3d in general so if this tutorial becomes obsolete in the future then it's fine but i just want to help out somebody that might be using the same tools as me and they just want to dress up some metahumans follow me on instagram if you want to stay updated with what i'm working on lately as well as twitter and then my dms as you see they're open for anybody